Cyber Dashi. The Cyber Dashi from Shield and 154 CM. This is a D. Antimonov design. Antimonov. And this has got that crazy carbon fiber G10 combo material for scales. Deep carry right hand only though with uh, with tapered screws and it's flat right against there, isn't it? What do you think? Does that uh, strike anything with you? Uh, let me take a look at this real quick. I think those are number eights. Yeah, they are number eights on the body. Kick it open. Ambidextrous thumb studs. Let her drop. This I got from Shielden. And uh, here's this. Cyberdashi G10 carbon fiber. Nested liner lock. Dennis Alexandrovich, Russian design. I probably slaughtered his name. Sorry about that. Um, here's more information on it, though. So I'll give you the link to the Shield in Sight, and you can go there and check it out. Yeah. T8, T8, T6 on the clip. And, uh, wow. Okay. Uh, this is their blacksmith segment. So I think they've got different, you know, like Kaiser's got Vanguard and this and that, or Wii's got Civivi, Senka, that kind of thing. So, and like beyond EDC, they've got like three different levels as well. And cage ceramic bearing, sheep's foot, uh, nested liner. I just wanted to get your uh, opinion on this one. What do you think? I've seen other designs by him as well, and I've liked them. I, I thought he did a good job. This is quite fetching, isn't it? It's, it's, woo, that's a sheep's foot, all right, isn't it? And you could climb up here. You know what? Time to get paper out. Ha, ah, the morning paper. Let me see. What do I want to do with the news? I don't like it. I reject it. Don't want it. I don't believe you. You're like the liberal media. Boy, that one is really <laughs> like the liberal. As I say to my wife, oh, no, no, I don't believe you. You're like the liberal media. I win every time. Then I'll virtue signal. So, okay, so we got that. We got that. No, but that is really freaking ass sticky sharp. That is a scary sharp blade. That is a scary sharp blade. Now are you liking it? Hold on, let's let's get this out. <sighs> Ooh, baby, baby. But which one looks wickeder der der? Wickeder der. Is that an is that even a word? This one looks more wickeded. And this it does. It it's that is crazy. Look at them holes. And then, what do we got for a lockup? Ooh, baby, that's 60%. That's a whole bunch. But it's, you know, it's not a frame lock. It's just a liner lock coming out of there with nested. Now open, no backspacer. But look at those, look at those standoffs. Isn't that kind of weird? They look maybe fancy in kind of an industrial way. Look at the finish on those. Hmm. And of course, the way they capture the pivot is the shield for shield. And you get it. Wow. Yeah, this is only, I think it's eight, eight hundred and fifty dollars. Just kidding. Just kidding. I don't know what the hell it is. Um, but I'll give you the link to shield and you go find out. I'm just going to play with the knife. Let me know when you're back. Wow. This is uh I really haven't done much with it. I didn't want to carry it around and bang it up, you know, before I put it on my channel. So here it is. Let's kind of explore it together, shan't we? And let's turn this on to begin with. It gives a better readout if you turn it on, actually. It's amazing how that works. 
and 124 grams. Whoa, I bet we're up near four ounces. Oh, I don't know if I can pick it up. Um, hold on, get over here. What the hell am I doing? Okay, 4.38 ounces. Okay, I think I could probably haul it around. I do like this material. There was a first, was this like Best Tech had this on some of their knives? Remember, several years ago, right? I thought it was way cool. I liked it. Um, still do. But, yeah, I mean, it's that's not that. Where's my... Where's my crazy tape measure? I'm sure we just read all the stats, but okay, three and a half inch, kind of, kind of, sort of, kind of. And this is one of those bolster things where it doesn't start and then go forward as it goes up. It starts and then goes back as it goes up. How weird is that? How often does that happen? Um, so, come on, Mr. Okay, yeah, so three and a half, 90 millimeter blade length, close to eight, 7.8, you know, seven and seven eighths, whatever, and 20 centimeters, 20 centimeters. What do you think? Three millimeter blade stock? That's my guess. That's my guess. And bingo. Yep, right there. 2.8 at 0.11. And just a half inch, boom, just like that, 12.9 millimeter. So, not that thick. Blade stock, not that thick. Ambidextrous thumb studs, liner lock, drop. Easy to flick. Thumb stud, no problem. Yeah. Um, design flow, great. Blade that, ooh, shit, <laughs> okay. Blade to handle length is officially good enough. Holy crap. Look at that. Look at that tip of that. Yikes. Okay, hold on. Nah, I can't touch it. So, job well done on that. But when I started pulling it up, I was like, ah! Because that thing is a sharp blade anyhow. So, I was like, time to take some blood thinners. Um, yeah, wow. Okay. You know, if you're going to jam that thing, actually, it would have been interesting if they had done this. Like my LTK result knife. Okay. See, you know, make it to where you could go right or left hand, but still, you know, kind of make it a bent, deep carry. Although, I'm, I'm not bragging that I didn't invent this idea. But, and I'm not sure, maybe that this was the smartest move for me either, but... Um, but you know, this way their lefties can get in on the deal. Actually, while it's out, let's compare size because this is eight inches. Yeah, it's a little bit longer, but this one looks, you know, taller, kind of more robust, doesn't it? Even though it's not really, but wow. Yeah, very different looks on these knives. And it feels light, though. And you know what? It's relatively light. And then you come up like that. Give me this. Oh, yeah, that just feels good. That just feels good. That really does. Wow, that's interesting. That's interesting. And I think at the time I got this from them, it's prototype. And I'm not sure. I'll have to check to see if it really is out, out. But I think they were looking for feedback on this. I don't know that there's much I could give them. I mean, I like this. Um, do they need a piece here? Do they need another standoff to kind of go between... Maybe we're uh, the very end here. What do you think? I don't know. Um, I don't know if you need it, need it. I mean, you got that. That's that's pretty stout there. Um, and nested liners kind of keeps everything kind of like you're just looking at that carbon fiber G10 mix, which is nice. 
Uh, I'm not getting any blade play or lock rock. Nah, it looks centered up. You're good there. I don't know. I mean, it's nice that it's contoured. So, you know, throw in your comments if you would like. This is definitely interesting. And, you know what? Let's, let's just take a gander and see what we got inside. What is this, number eight? And these are supposed to be, except for the clip. So, well, that rolled out. And then we got these two standoffs, so they got a screw coming into them on both. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's that's pretty easy to disengage these screws here. And then we got the pocket clip, which really, to tell you the truth, can this thing, where is this thing stuck? I mean, actually, can you take this whole thing off and take the liner with you? Yeah, you could if you wanted to. Okay, because you don't have to pull the liner away from the, from the scale if you don't want to. So you really don't have to undo the pocket, the pocket clip to get to the pivot if you wanted just to service the pivot. And... Yeah, there was some, there's some manufacturing goober in there, right? Okay. A little bit, a little bit. I just knocked this off. Okay. And then here's the shield, the mighty shield for shielding. And of course, it sits down here, so this baby ain't turning around. Okay. It's just, uh, it's only fits in one place. Ooh, okay. I see. Hold on. This actually can unscrew off the shield or screw right into the shield. Okay, that's interesting. Didn't know that before. Never tried to do that, actually. And there it is. Otherwise, in here, there's a little bit of grit here and there, but not much. So we're pretty good there. Do you really need to skeletonize these thin little liners? Really not. I don't think so. So that shield keeps dropping out. And there's your ceramic bearings. Okay. So those are pretty decent. Overall. Wow. That is just one sharp little knife, isn't it? Cyberdashi. Okay. And here she goes. That's your disassembly. Looks pretty straightforward. Looks good. Came back together just fine. Uh, it's, uh, it's a different kind of cat, isn't it? Very tactical looking. Sheep's foot. Wow. Very slicey, that's for sure. Interesting materials on the handle. I like it. I think they look good. They're pretty indestructible. Overall, easy to take apart and put back together. Number eight body screws. Uh, comfortable in the hand. I mean, that's pretty just laid out pretty straight. Easy to get into. You can jump way up. You can get up on this blade pretty well. Yeah, uh, it's very interesting uh, design for sure. What do you guys think? Give a yell in the comment section, and I will let you go. Just remember, we love them knives, so you guys, stay sharp.